to solve question number 2B. Remember, this is a Imo State University question paper on Chem 102 in the year 2019-2020 session. We've solved from number 1A, 1B, 2A, the previous videos. If you did not watch the previous videos, you can go back, check out our solution for questions 1A, 1B, 2A. Now we are solving question 2B. And the question says, indicate the type of hybrid orbital in the molecules. Indicate the type of hybrid orbital in the molecule. CCL4, C2H2, C2H2, and CH4. Now, when you're asked to indicate the type of hybrid orbital present in a molecule, it means you should tell us the type of hybridization present in that molecule. Remember, at this level, the types of hybridizations to have at this level are the SP hybridization, we have the SP3, we have the SP2, and we have SP. These are the types of hybridization we are going to look into at this level. Now, before I solve this problem, I need to show you how to know the type of hybridization present in a given carbon atom. Now, if you look at sp3 hybridization, sp3, all you need to check here is what is the sum of the powers. The power of P here is 3 plus the power of S here is what? 1. Remember, when, if, when X is written without a power, it means it has a power of 1. When the power is not displayed, it means the power is 1. So the power of S in SP3, the power of P is 3, by the power of S is 1. And that gives us 3 plus 1, which is 4. Just add the powers. Now, whatsoever you get after adding the powers means the number of atoms bonded to the carbon atom in that molecule. Now, if I add 3 plus 1, that's the powers, I'll get 4. Simply means that any time carbon atom is bonded or attached to 4 atoms, that carbon atom is sp3 hybridized. Now, in sp2, the sum of powers is the power of P is 2 plus the power of S here is 1. And 2 plus 1 will give us 3. And this 3 simply means that any time carbon atom is bonded to 3 atoms or groups, whenever carbon is bonded to 3 atoms or groups, the type of hybridization there is sp2. And finally, sp hybridization. The power of P here is 1, plus the power of S is also 1. And 1 plus 1 will give us 2. And this also means that whenever carbon atom is bonded to two groups or two atoms, the type of hybridization it uses is SP hybridization. Now let's solve the problems given to us. Question number 1i here says CCL4, which is C. CL, 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 that is chlorine, chlorine, C, CL4, these are the four chlorine atoms, and the name of this is tetrachloro, tetrachloro, which means four chlorine, tetra is four, chloro is chlorine, and methane is one carbon, so I have one carbon, which is methane, I have four chlorines, which is tetrachloro, so this is tetrachloromethane. Now, if you look at this carbon atom here, we, are, we want to find out the type of hybridization it is using here. How many atoms or groups are bonded to this carbon? This is bonded to the carbon, this is one. This is also bonded to the carbon, which is two. This is bonded to the carbon, three. And this is bonded to the carbon. How many of them? One, two, three, four. Since four groups are bonded to this carbon atom, 
which hybridization gives us total of four. It is sp3. This is three plus one, the powers, and that's four. Because there are four groups bonded, the hybridization here is sp3 for this carbon. Now the second one here says C2H2. If I draw the structure, I will have one, two. That is C2. My H2 goes this way. I will put one H here. I will put one H here. Give them one, one first. This is C2H2. Now looking at this structure, you will discover that the number of bonds around the carbon atoms are not complete. Every carbon should have a total of four bonds surrounding it. Now, this carbon atom, if you check around this carbon, around it, how many lines can you see? The lines are the bonds. This is one, this is two. Only two lines, which means only two bonds. Remaining two. Every carbon must have a total of four bonds around it. This is what we mean. The four bonds in a carbon atom can be distributed like this. One, two, three, four. Or they can also be in this form. One, two, three, four. If I have double here, it means the one that is supposed to be here has been placed here. It is still correct. You will not put any other thing here again. Or they can be in this form. One, two, three, four. In that case, there will be nothing here. There will be nothing here. All, my, all you can see is that around the carbon there are four lines, which is four bonds. It can also be written like this. One, two, three, four. Around this carbon, you will see four lines. One, two, three, four. So, every carbon must be surrounded by four bonds. Now, in the previous thing we had here is like this. If you check around this carbon, you will see that it is surrounded by only two lines, remaining two. You check this one, around it is surrounded by only two bonds. Now, it means that this carbon needs two more bonds. This carbon needs two more bonds. Do not put a H. By the time you put a H, you have changed the formula that's given to you. The formula says total H is two, which is this and this. So you're not, you're not permitted to put a new one. Use bonds to complete it. This one needs two more bonds. This one needs two more bonds. So I'll put two bonds between them. One, two. These are the two extra bonds required to complete the bonds to be four. Remember. Every carbon must have a total of four bonds around it. Now, if you check around this carbon, you will see one, two, three, four bonds. If you check around this one, you will see one, two, three, four bonds. So this is the structure for C2H2, and that is a time. Let's check the hybridization. This carbon, how many groups are bonded to it? Here, it has a H, which is one, front side it has a carbon attached to it. Remember this H is bonded to this one. It is not bonded to this. The hydrogen here belongs to this. So the atoms that are bonded to this carbon are this H and this C, which means only two atoms. Now which hybridization goes for two? When you have total of two, it is SP. So this carbon is SP hybridized. If you look at this one, you will discover that it has only this H and this C. Two of them are bonded to it, which is still two. This carbon is also SP hybridized. So you can see that this structure is SP hybridized. That is SP hybrid. All right, we go to the third compound, which is C2H4. C2H4. If you draw the structure, C2, 1, 2, H4. 1, 2, 3, 4. You discover that this carbon has three lines all around it, which is three bonds surrounding it. 1, 2, 3. This one has three bonds. 1, 2, 3. This one needs one more bond. This one needs one more bond. All you need to do is to put one bond between them. So they have four, four all around them. Now, this carbon, how many atoms are attached to it? One, two, and this, three. This is attached to this. So there are one, two, three atoms attached to this carbon. Therefore, this carbon is SP. Remember, 
When there are three atoms attached to you, it is sp2. Because sp2 gives us a total of 2 plus 1, which is 3. So for three atoms attached, it is sp2. The same applies to this carbon, sp2. So this compound has only sp2 hybrid orbital. The last one is CH4, which is like this, CH4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because this carbon has 4 atoms attached to it, this carbon is sp3 hybridized. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to solve question number 2C, still on hybridization. Do well to share this video and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.